Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the free marketplace content for the month of May. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first off, what we have here is the advanced RPG system. So we have the demo project right here. And essentially what this is, is a attribute system. So for health and stamina experience as well as like if you're going to create your own stats like right here it has endurance for example uh, so if we run into this little collision box it's going to level up our character it's going to give us experience that's going to level up our character so you can see here we're level two then we'll get more experience level three and as we do this you can also see the health and stamina increase so we're uh, stacking our stats pretty much when we level up and then we have this minus hp and plus hp so it's a very simple attribute system this is quite literally all that it is literally just this advanced rpg system it's it's nothing more than a fancy uh, custom attribute system for creating like different stats for your character. So a lot of people confuse this plugin with the Ascent Combat Framework, which is a whole separate plugin. The best way to kind of clear that up is pretty much you have these three different tiers of the plugin. And the one that we're getting here free for the month is just this ARS, which is the advanced RPG system really just a simple statistics and attributes framework which is the health stamina and all that stuff so pretty simple plugin not a whole lot to it they say it's all multiplayer ready and replicated so all the nodes are set up that way but this specific demo project in particular isn't set up for multiplayer so but yeah that's pretty much it for the advanced rpg system not really the best name that i think that they could have gave this plugin like they could have just named it uh, health and attribute system. I mean, you know, advanced RPG system makes it sound like it's this full framework of tools. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next pack here, which is the light foliage pack. So if I hit play here, pretty much what this is, is a very high optimized uh, pack of foliage. So if we run around our scene here getting 120 fps but i mean fairly empty scene i mean fairly small scene and i also have a decent graphics card so so it's supposed to be well optimized for open world maps so if you were to stack like a bunch of these and make a really nice scene it's supposed to run pretty smooth and if we switch over here to our shaders we can see so green obviously means good and red is bad and then all the way to white extremely bad so we can see here it's looking pretty nice and if we actually zoom up on here you can see the detail on some of these looks pretty good honestly and we'll go ahead and check out all the meshes here so there's a lot of different meshes and also comes with rocks which is nice as well but yeah, that's pretty much it here. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. All right, next up we have this tropical environment, low poly pack. So if I go ahead and zoom out here, I can give you guys a better look. So you got this island map with this beach here, pirate ship. So first starting off with the water here, low poly water material. There's no post-process volume, but that's okay. And we got this nice pirate ship. So you can see here we have the pirate flag and all that stuff. As well as the sails are actually simulating the wind, or at least animated, so. Then we have the interior of the ship, which I can kind of show you. It is all decorated with interiors, which is nice. So down here is a captain's quarters I guess see there's a lot of little decorated uh, knickknacks and stuff on the table and if we go down here we can see all the cannons very nice and all the way down to the very bottom and uh, yeah that's pretty much the pirate ship I mean it's got an anchor there as well so very detailed in terms of stuff in the interiors as well as 
just little assets here and there. And of course you have this dock. Okay, on the beach, there's also a bunch of different stuff here, like um, torches, umbrellas, surfboards, barrels, all sorts of stuff on the beach. Okay, and then we have this little jungle here, which uh, leads up through a pathway right through here. And then it goes to a breakthrough where we have like this little pool of water and this waterfall, which I think has a really nice material on it. And yeah, um, there's also this little lighthouse over here on the cliff. Which has actually an interior with stairs that can go all the way to the top. So it's pretty neat. And this volcano over here is just a very big mesh. Uh, all of the meshes here are far away meshes, distance meshes. So makes the level look pretty big, but really the only playable area is right around there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this level. Uh, we can go ahead and check out the overview map, which shows just all of the different uh, assets that it comes with. So we can see here we have the lighthouse, the docks, some of the beach props. And over here we have uh, trees and brush. Okay, and then we got some rocks, some cliffs, and then some uh, ruins. Then we got our pirate ship, as well as all the little assets that were used inside of it. Over here we have the tiki or the other beach props, little coconut. And then we have piles and piles of gold, gold bars and stuff like that. So treasure chest. Okay, and then we have volcano assets, which are rocks with lava. And if you notice in the back here, we have all the distance meshes as well as the water and the clouds. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, to the low poly tropical environment. Pretty nice pack overall. Let's go ahead and move on to our next one. Next up we have the pose animations or the strike a pose pack, which is I believe over 600 animations, something like that. So you can see all the different animations and if I load up the preview here, it's going to make a lot more sense. But basically, we have the base poses right here with idle animations. So there are all these idle animations. And then all of the animations that you saw on the other, the previous level are essentially mirrored versions of these animations as well as different variants. So you'll see here, I can page up and page down to switch idles. Okay, and you see we have walking as well. Um, there's also thumbs up and thumbs down. So if I do V or B, same thing, B, thumbs up. Also do points by holding N, hold M to clap. And then you can do X, which is mirror pose. So that's kind of what I was talking about. All the animations are mirrored. So that's why there's so many different animations. Uh, it's because they have to mirror everything and all that stuff. So, but yeah, um, I can show you all the different animations. So we have a hurt one. It's kind of basic idols. And I mean, these are really good for if you're trying to create NPCs. You can just give them some of these animations. As well as, you know, if you're trying to do like a character creation system, you can use like some of these idols. And yeah, I can show you the gallery again, but it, it's, it's 20 FPS because we have every single animation possible. And you can see here, it's essentially the same animation just mirrored from left to right as you go down. And then over here are the different um, pointing, 
idle and movement animations, so like walking and stuff. It's pretty much it. It's always nice to get an animation pack um, because you can use it for multiple projects, not just one single project. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on. So next up we have this endless runner. Essentially, this is a endless runner template. So you have a variety of different type of endless runner games. So if I load up the flappy runner, pretty much just a flappy bird. Uh, game so if I just left click here I can fly and boost or whatever you want to call it Then of course you just have to fly through the pipes and avoid hitting them And you have three lives here, which is replenished by those hearts But yeah, that's flappy bird then we have game select which is like a main menu where you can select all the different games so we'll do the next one which is the heli runner so this is the same thing as Flappy Bird, but you just hold down the mouse instead of clicking. So you gotta kind of control the character by holding down your mouse and timing it right. Then we have the Lizard Runner. So how this works is you do A to jump. You have to change your color real quick to adapt to the material. And the Lizard Runner 3D, it's the same thing, but 3D. So A to jump and then D to change your color. Oh God. And we got the Road Runner, which is the more classic Endless Runner, or at least the Endless Runner that I'm more familiar with. Okay, so you just have to avoid the obstacles and you can get certain power-ups that will help you collect all the coins. And uh, yeah, pretty simple and this runner template. And we got the sun runner, which is, in my opinion, a little bit more fun because uh, you can move left and right. And you have to avoid all the obstacles. Now, the only thing with this is um, because your camera is so far back, you kind of think that your camera is like the character, even though the character is actually in front of you, like five or six feet ahead of you. So at first, it, you know, I kind of got myself mixed up like this, even though, you know, it doesn't hit the camera, it hits the character, so... But yeah, there's that. Then there's the vertical runner, which is side to side. You just hop left and right and avoid uh, the blocks that are falling. Very simple. And then the last of it, which is the voxel runner. To control this, you just use your mouse. So you hold down the left mouse button and you can move your mouse around and the character will take the pitch and yaw to move around. So you have full control over the character. And of course, you just, same thing, avoid the obstacles, collect the coins, and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much all of that. Uh, you have assets here, nice and neatly organized. All the blueprints, the effects, all that stuff. It comes with sounds as well. I just had my sounds muted. But yeah, I mean, it comes with quite literally everything. Pretty easy system to just uh, replace and mess around with if you wanted to make an endless runner game. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and move on to our last pack. All right, so last but not least, we have the Easy Quest system, which is uh, not on the monthly free marketplace on the store page, but is permanently free. So you just have to search Easy Quest on the Unreal Marketplace, and it'll be under the permanently free collection. So what this is, is a simple quest system. We have an NPC here with a quest and you can see with the exclamation mark above their head, press E to accept. Quest has been added. Okay, so I guess it's K type. Click on here, the beginning. So we can see here, main quest, uh, recommended level, current objective, collect five apples. So we have the tracking on the right side and we have this little icon that shows us how far the item is from us. So if I press E, we can pick these up. And it says five apples, so there we go. 
Then it wants us to kill the thug, so we'll go over here. And you see the meters, it shows us the distance from our character. We did that. Then we have to go back to the NPC and talk to him. And you see here, quest completed. We press E again. So we got another quest and open up K. We have two different quests, training and then fighting. So I wonder if we can do the training one at the same time, it looks like. Now we'll go ahead and talk. Okay, training complete. And then we have to collect these items. So you can see it's a very basic system, but has quite literally everything that you need. And you can see at the bottom left too, there is also level experience in gold, which is also nice. Okay, so there's the last part, quest completed. So very basic questing system where you, you know, attack AI and you collect certain items and then you move to certain locations. So, and this is just the demo project that I created from the marketplace. But yeah, so it also comes with the save system. So when I actually go and try and play again and save my level there, my experience, my gold. So yeah, all the blueprints and stuff are in here. So you can dig apart that. In our data tables here, we have data table for quests. So it stores all the information like the name of the quest, the objectives, rewards, all that stuff. So there's a lot of stuff to dig in here and to um, figure out how you want to implement this if you want to add this to your game and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this month's uh, free marketplace content. In my opinion, a little bit better than last month's, but not a whole ton. But yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Which pack was your favorite, which one was your least favorite, and so on. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.